My name is Joe Qatar. I'm the CEO of Dildem and one of the founders of Dildem. We founded back in 1969 with my late father. We came to Australia with my family, my parents back in 1967 during the war between Israel and the Arab world in June. But we arrived to Australia in October the 11th and went to the night school for the school certificate and the high school. After that, we decided to get involved in that building game, which was originally my father's game. Well, I've known Joe over decades. I've seen him grow his business. I've seen the leadership role that he plays in relation to particularly the Australian Lebanese Chamber of Commerce. I've seen the way in which he is a generous benefactor to so many charities and other organisations. And uh, I regard him uh, not only as a friend whom we have shared the good times and some of the more difficult times, but also um, a great example of what can happen when you come and make a commitment to this nation, its future. And when you look at Joe, he has been one of the most successful businessmen in a relatively short period of time. He has built buildings which will live long beyond him. He is making a very, very significant contribution to Australia. Our first project, it's an ideal one, and I keep visiting at least once a week. It's in St. Helens Road, Auburn. That's when we purchased the land in 69, and we started straight away. My younger brother, George and Rai, my brother-in-law, Sam Fire, joined the company. We began building bigger projects first, three-story walk up, then moved to high-rise apartment, then mixed use. I've known Joe for over 30 years. We first back, met uh, back in 1987 at the job in Lane Street, Wentworthville, where Joe was working with his brothers, George, Ray, his brother-in-law Sam, and his father. In those days, they built four-story walk-up uh, apartments, which was quite good in those days. And now they're building in excess of 3,000 units, which is a massive testament to Joe and the team at Dildam. We stuck to our business model through property cycles, the 24% interest era in the 70s through the GFC in 2008. We believed in quality development near infrastructure, transport, employment hubs, and schools. If you walk down the street with Joe at Parramatta, that tells you the story. You know, you don't need to, to do much more than that and to see the impact that he's had on, on, the, on the overall community of Parramatta. It's not just the, the buildings, it's not just the, the work that's been performed there, but it's also the friendships and the collective positive attitude that the community takes towards Joe and the group for its contribution over so many years. I think it must be fun to be Joe. I think it must be great to be able to look out across the great metropolis of Western Sydney and go, I built a lot of that. I think that's something to be admired. All construction of work with Joe and Dildum um, sees them just growing bigger and bigger as a company and being up there as a tier one builder and developer. And it has been my privilege, my life purpose, to build community for almost 50 years. Joe and Dildam will always stand for community service. In 2012, he became a member of the Order of Australia. This award recognised his work as president of both the Australian Lebanese Chamber of Commerce and the George Naim Qatar Foundation, and as a board member of Westmead Medical Research Foundation. These commitments have been important milestones in Joe's life. You gotta give it back after a while, once you get into a very comfortable spot, 
You gotta give it back to the community as a sign of appreciation. Joe is a man of resilience and approachable and ready to, to support and to help others. Joe has like something special about him. He is like an example of someone living his uh, Lebanese values in an Australian society. And he's doing that in a wonderful way. Joe is a man of values. He turned some sad situation, for example, the loss of his brother, into something that to give back to the community. I was with Joe in founding the GNK Foundation. And the reason to have this organization is to give back to the community. He's determined with his approach, positive approach to world life, that you should create, you should make people happy, you should serve, you should give, you should donate, not only take, but give back. He's of the philosophy that you cannot close your hand, you have to open it. We've got a common view toward Australia, the great country that we should all be loyal to, without forgetting our roots in Lebanon. Joe, you've always been a pleasure to work with. I class you as a close friend and a great business associate. Thank you for your support over many, many years. Congratulations, Joe, on your achievements tonight. Well done. I always think you make your own luck. And when you find somebody like Joe, he is a leader, a person who is able to give of himself, to give of his time, to harness the resources of him and his family, uh, to build an organisation. It's not luck, it's hard work and leadership. I'm honoured to see Dildem, the business I founded with my late father back in 1969, to become a leader in the Australian property development industry.